Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Toy Talk. I'm joined here by Max, and before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys all know that we really appreciate all the subscriptions, comments, and thumbs up of this video in advance. Showing your support really helps us and keeps us motivated to be making more Toy Talks. Okay, well, this is starting out with something I'm looking forward to. This is a good for me. Uh, I like collecting the Steelbook Blu-rays. Mm -hmm. And this is for Beauty and the Beast. This is a tentative cover because it says it's not final. Now, we didn't see it yet only because our family gathering wanted to see Kong first. But we might see this tonight. Yeah. So, if you saw it and you liked it, please leave it in the comments without spoilers. Yes. Okay, so we're going to go over some Beauty and the Beast toys first, toys and dolls. Um, here is the Belle and Prince set. The box is These beautiful. These are the limited edition dolls. Yeah, I really like the box. I, I like Belle, this Belle, like, um, but I don't like the Prince so much. No, the Prince looks creepy to me. His outfit is really good, but his forehead seems too big for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Belle's dress is beautiful, though, and those shoes. And then we have the limited edition golden dress Belle. Is it a good for you? Yeah, yeah. I think out of all the Belle's dolls I've seen for this movie, this one bothers me the least. Because <laughs> usually her face is um, not my cup of tea. And this dress makes up for anything, though. Look at her hairstyle is so intricate. The dress is really pretty. And all the details with the rhinestones and embroidery. And then we have these little um, little figures of Belle. I'm gonna try to start covering more Hot Toys items. This is like a sub-brand of Hot Toys. It's like Cause Babies. Mm-hmm. And this is the Beauty and the Beast. Very cute. Here's the Beast. You can see it's flocked and fuzzy. It's pretty cute too. And some pictures of them together. This is good. This is adorable. I just, it's good for me too. I just don't, I didn't remember to look at the cost. I don't know how much expensive they are. And they also have like the peasant, dra peasant dress bell um, and the different characters, Lumiere, Cogsworth, Mrs. Potts, and Chip. Really cute. And then here's something I thought was funny. They have a beast backpack. <laughs> That's a serious backpack. Yeah. It's, it's, it's cute. really cool. I just don't know if I could, like, if you wear it in public, it's too intimidating. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would wear it, um, Maybe to Disney World. That'd be cool. And then moving on from Beauty and the Beast, we have My Little Pony movie. Might put a toy talk together. Everything we know about the My Little Pony movie. So if you want to see that, comment below. Might work on that. I, th I think um, these two characters look really cool. They're going to have sea ponies, which is exciting. Uh, it hasn't been in... Um, this generation yet with the sea pony so new kind of creatures is always cool is this gonna be the best toy movie property ever um probably not but Tran i'm looking what, what forward it, to it i mean what what succeeded before transformers is pretty much it trolls was kind of toy yeah trolls was definitely toys um i don't know i can't think of it right now <laughs> i have to think about this toy talk um <laughs> Sia. Yeah, a Sia pony is pretty funny. And moving right on to Monster High, we have some of the family portraits here. I hope I oh back to the Sia real quick. I hope she makes an original song for the movie because I really like her music. Yeah, that'd be cool. So I can see clearly here that Dracula's little sister has bat ears, and not the wolf. This ears. is amazing. This is a definite good for me. I wish the dolls resembled it more. Except for uh, Dracula cooking. <laughs> I don't like him cooking. <laughs> uh huh. Um, but her little sister um, looks pretty cute. I'm wondering where... Where 
some of the characters that used to be in Monster High are in these pictures. But so here, there's like uh, Claudine's family there, and then um, some uh, are these Mega Blocks. Uh, I don't think if they're they might be constructs. I don't know. They changed the name. Or I don't. It's the same type of thing though. Yeah, little Lego kind of people. He had um, these different characters. They look cute. Monica Decay, Dracula. Ari Huntington set. And then we have a couple, a lot of pictures of this doll. It's a uh, Dracula like fashion pack. It's she, like many fashions. Yeah, she comes with a lot of different stuff. You'll see. You'll you'll be able to make a whole bunch. of... Of See, if you're gonna do, I outfits. say this is ugly because if you're gonna, the whole point is selling on fashions. I think it's a big mistake to ignore a big part of. There's a big fan base out there of doll photographers, and you cannot pose this doll that great. It has one pose, and that's it. It's basically a mannequin. It's not a doll. That's what I'm calling this: is a mannequin. I would think it'd be kind of like harder too to change her outfit. When you can't, like, move her arms that much. And the legs. Well, maybe not the legs, and but the arms. I'm, I'm definitely... I know people are used to me saying no articulation, but I, I don't think it's as much of a doll anymore when it's like this. Mm. Especially if you're going to focus on fashions. Maybe you could use these outfits on, on a regular articulated doll, but that's not the point. They should provide it right off the, out of the package. Yeah. But I definitely like the outfits. Um, and these are not new, but they are a hidden gem because right now they're on sale. On uh, HasbroToyShop.com. Half off. For um, They were Eevee usually 30 and they're like 15. And, and then the, the regular dolls are like 10. They do some really good sales on Descended Dolls on... On HasbroToyShop.com. And here are some newer Eevee and Mal dolls that are coming out. Well, these are out. These are just basics. Yeah. I really like her dress, though. I don't like the arms with the lack of a chick articulation, like Max always says. But I really like the top on her. I think it's really cool. And then Eevee's just alright for me. I like her boots a lot. Those are cool. Great, good. Killer Frost. She should be coming out soon. Usually, when well, there's... she's not Killer Frost, she's just Frost. Frost. But um, she's really cool. I do wish it still had the earring. I wish she had the earrings. And there was one other accessory that maybe could have used from her um, artwork. But other than that, really cool. And it's a new level of uh, accessory with that Frost that catapults. Mm hmm. Yeah, um, she, I think she should have had something that went around her ponytail that, like, matched the other pieces. Yeah. Because I think she has that in the show. But other than that, really good. Yeah. She looks awesome. I wonder how her thing shoots out, how that works. If it, like, is something to do with the arm mechanism or what. And then DC Superhero Girls are going to have the Intergalactic Games original movie. We kind of said this in the last one we talked, but... Uh, oh, man, I forget the character's name now. Starfire's sister? Yeah. Take she a looks close. really cool. I really hope they do a doll of her. Mm-hmm. And then, it, also in the DC Universe is Wonder Woman, which that movie is coming out soon. And we have here, I think... Movie replicas. Re movie replicas, yeah. Of her sword and her um, her gauntlets, her tiara, and her lasso. They're pretty cool. <laughs> this is like a retro look at what dolls or action figures looked like a long time ago, but they're re-releasing them. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Cool for nostalgia. Mm -hmm. uh, I personally want to get this, but I understand the, one, like, the I, reason for what wanting it. What is under... It, <laughs> what is under that? Like, she's just naked under that? They didn't want to make... It's weird. This is what toys and dolls used to look like. Mattel's going to slowly go back there. <laughs> instead of 
progressing, but Maybe. that's what it used to be like. Mm -hmm. And so we have some um, precious moments. There's Cinderella and Mulan. These are pretty cute. And um, this may be like a. It's not exactly limited edition, but it's like a more high end Disney store doll. Mm hmm. With Anna, Kristoff, and the trolls. And the trolls look really detailed too. Yeah. Maybe it is cool a limited set. edition. I don't know. I think they had a limited edition um, like this, but this might be just like a more expensive one. Because it doesn't say limited edition anywhere on the box, so. And here are some Beauty and the Beast Zoom Zooms. What is the case? The case is there's this, like, footstool that was like a dog uh, in the original animated movie. I could not figure... I look, I found this picture. I don't know what that was. <laughs> yeah. And it, like, it roughs and it goes around. I remember that. Here's a look at the Tsum Tsums that Where's fit the in the case. Where's the mini beast Tsum Tsum? I don't know. Th they had the prints. Yeah. But. Uh, these are mini Tsum Tsum Disney Store blind pins. Cool. But they're expensive. They're like 35 bucks for six. Mm. I like this um, pack up Alice in Wonderland and Marvel. That's pretty cool. Here's some just, uh, uh... I don't know if this Alina of Avalar doll is... N n I think it's new, but it looks kind of cool. Yeah. We still have not watched the series yet, but I want to. And then this is a Tauner doll of Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh, it is? Yes. Like I, the classic. I thought it might have been, like, some gymnast, like, Olympic yeah, gymnast. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it, but I included it. Hmm. That's interesting. Here's some Happy Places. Series 2, I think. Mm, that's cool. Mm, and then these creep me out. Living Dead Dolls of Beetlejuice and... I like clockwork Beetlejuice, orange. but I don't like this. And the Clockwork Orange guy really creeps me out. <laughs> They're both very creepy. I think it's good quality. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying they're not, but they're made to be creepy, and they creep me out. Uh, here's more figural key rings, classic X-Men, and then Guardians of the Galaxy. More what they look like in the comics. I like it. Spider-Man Shoots and Ladders. I don't think I've ever played Shoots and Ladders, to be honest. Well, we should start with Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> Some Funko stuff. There's the pint size heroes. They have a three pack there. Well, this is, uh, we're getting into some Spider Man Homecoming collectibles and toys. Mm hmm. It's neat that they have the pint size heroes outside of big blind This bags picture and... pretty much takes away the mystery figure mystery, though. Yeah, I should have covered that part up, I guess. Well, if you want to know, what now you know. What superhero movie are you looking forward to the most this year? Which Viewers one, comment which, too. Which ones are there? There is Guardians Galaxy 2, Wonder Woman, Justice League, Thor Ragnarok, Spider Man Homecoming, and I might be missing one. Justice League, did I say that? Yes. Um, before I saw the promo images and what they did to Thor's hair and look. <laughs> I would have said Thor Ragnarok. And I'm still looking forward to Thor's it. Thor's not all about the way he looks, Ducky. It's about the story. I like his <laughs> outfit, but they basically turned his hair brown and shaved it off. And he looks like a gladiator, not Thor to me right now. But I'm still looking forward to that probably the most because I like Loki and he'll be in it. Also, Hulk's going to be in it, which will be cool. Um... I'm really looking forward to Spider-Man Homecoming, but I I want to see Justice League more and Wonder Woman. Because hmm. I'm really interested in Wonder Woman. We need a good, strong uh, female superhero movie. There hasn't been a really successful one ever. I mean, there's been women superhero movies, but not a real successful one. 
Spider-Man Homecoming Mystery Minis. Yeah. These look really cool. Yeah. Uh, I sometimes. Are you sure these are Homecoming? I don't think they are because uh, these are just. Well, like... sometimes Funko does this. They have it in to coincide with the release of the movie. But it's more just classic characters. It's not exactly the movie. These are version. definitely not Spider-Man Homecoming mystery minis, though. These are like the classic cartoon. But they have the vulture in there, and the vulture's in the movie. But he I'm doesn't just, look anything I know, like that. L listen, I'm just explaining what Funko does. They don't always necessarily match up with the movie. But these are gonna, believe me, these are gonna come out when Spider-Man Homecoming comes out. Yeah, but guaranteed they're gonna actually have Spider-Man Homecoming mystery minis. You think? I think. Okay. These are for the classic movie. Not like... <laughs> anyway. I'm going on to the uh, poster here. This is a little preview to the Hot Toys. It's not even the actual actor. It's a Hot Toy. Hmm. That's interesting because it doesn't look like it has any joints right now. But um, well, maybe Hot that, Toys are maybe, always... Maybe that is an actor. <laughs> and they're just previewing. I don't know. This is a preview on Hot Toys mm. for they're working on a Spider-Man Homecoming. And that's great to me. I don't think I necessarily would ever collect a Hot Toy unless it was something I wanted so bad. Just one. But this is cool, though. I, I still want Kylo. Oh, Kylo Ren Hot Toy? Yes, because he's cool. Anyway, so that wraps it up for this Toy Talk. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, we look forward to hearing your comments down below. And it, don't forget to say what movie, superhero movie, you're looking forward to. Yep. If you like Beauty and the Beast, we are going to go tonight, but mm -hmm. no spoilers. Yeah. Um, bye. Bye. <laughs>